I uh, still haven't had a notification yet, so I'm guessing there's still people to kill. I wonder if I can actually slit this guy's with from the back with the, the Nightingale blade. I'm gonna give it a try, but I'm gonna save just in case. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. There's somebody around. So yeah, he, he's not gonna be. I'm not gonna be able to get to him with uh, my blade. <sighs> Bullshit. Really, I aim to eye there. God damn it. I'm gonna call a bit of bullshit on that first one. I shouldn't have uh, aimed to eye at all, but whatever. The game. Essentially, he's just trying to fuck with me at this point. Ooh, look at this. Somebody's setting up a bit of a feast. Okay, I haven't had a chance to do one of these in a while. Alright, so further to the right. That's better. We got some more lock picks. And she's dead. Ooh, got her right in the tit as well. Damn. Plenty of gold. Got some more gold over here. Does that mean there's something in the dresser? Nope. And there goes that idea. Ooh, got our skill increased archery a little bit there as well. That's good. So I'm pretty sure I've cleared this place out now, I guess. Not a whole lot more I can do, as far as I can tell. Oh no, there's still the top floor, isn't there? Okay. Right, I'm guessing I can head up this way. Yeah, I saw you. Just the way, same way you saw me. Yeah, there's still two guards around. So, the best thing I can think to do is go over here. <laughs> Alright, I see them now. He's dead. The last one is up there somewhere, which unfortunately I can't see. It's too high up. Thankfully there is a staircase here so I can just go up and around. Aw, oh, he wants to walk away free, man. It pains me to do this. It really does. Sort of. I'm just going to favorite that. And we will also favorite the blade. I'm sorry, man. 
I wish I could let you go. But I need to continue the story. Ugh. your friendly neighborhood assassin. Ooh, I'll take the arrows. Oh, God, that drop actually hurt more than I expected it to. The dwarven arrows. And we can head back to the Imperial Legion's home base. I'm actually nearly at level 23 as well. Stood there. You look new. I'm new too. I think we could be friends. That's probably the start of some side quest right there. I have to wonder. Tell me again why I'm wasting men chasing after a fairy tale. If Ulfric you can sell off that junk at big. It won't be a fairy tale. It'll be a problem. Don't you Nords put any stock in your own traditions? I thought the Moot chose the king. We're backing Ellison. When the Moot meets, they'll do the sensible thing. Not everyone's agreed to the Moot. You've been here long enough to know that Nords aren't always sensible. We follow our hearts. So what? Ulfric gets this crown and then suddenly he's High King? No, it's not as simple as that. But the Jagged Crown would be a potent symbol for his cause to rally around. But if we found it first... And we gave it to Ellison. In the absence of the moot, it would further legitimize her claim. Perhaps. I'm entrusting you with what resources I can spare. But I'm warning you, if this turns out to be a waste of time and men... It won't be a waste. Make sure you take the auxiliary here. You can send him back when you get there and find nothing but old bones and cobwebs. The Stone Fist's no fool. He's found the crown, but we'll get to it first. Welcome back, soldier. I'm glad you made it in one piece. I'll send men to garrison the fort right away. You did well. I'm impressed. But before we go any further, it's time for you to officially join the Legion. Speak with General Tullius. He'll administer the oath. I mean, I'm not really too bothered by it, so... ...will be taking an oath binding you to the service of the Emperor, and thus to every citizen of the Empire. Are you prepared to make that commitment? Well then, repeat after me. Okay. Upon my honor, I do swear undying loyalty to the Emperor, Titus Mead II. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, whatever. And unwavering obedience to the officers of his great empire. <laughs> May those above judge me, and those below take me, if I fail in my duty. <laughs> long live the emperor, long live the empire. <coughs> Empire. Um, Empire. Welcome to the Imperial Legion, soldier. Just remember, we take care of our own. Once you're in the Legion, you're in it for life. Oh, I could just Speak kill all of you. He's normally out by the forge. He'll get you out there. I'm now, pretty good with the stuff I got now. Rika has a special assignment for you. Ooh, and I got a. Excuse me, I got an achievement for that. The Stone Fist's no fool. He's found the crown, but we'll get to it first. Welcome to the Legion, Auxiliary. Listen up. Welcome to the Legion, Auxiliary. Listen up. Oh. Ulfric's right hand man, Galmar Stone Fist, has located what he believes is the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. We're going to make sure he doesn't get his hands on it. The rest of my men are already assembling outside Corvinjun. I'll meet you there as soon as I finish up here. Okay. A legendary crown dating back to King Harald's time or before. A powerful relic of the Golden Age, long since past. Legend has it 
that the crown is made from the bones and teeth of ancient dragons and is said to increase the power of the wearer. Whatever the truth, if Ulfric gets his hands on it, it would be a powerful symbol around which to rally support for his cause. Well, to be frank, we don't. Its location was lost with King Borgus when the Great Hunt killed him off while on his Lushan campaigns. Supposedly, his body was brought back. I wish I could back up here. I can't move away. <laughs> I'm a kind of in my personal space here, my dear. But my agents report that Galmar is pretty damn convinced Corvin June is the tomb of King Borgus. I know Galmar. We fought in many wars together. He's not a sentimental man taken to fancy. If he believes the crown is there, he's likely found it. I am a loyal citizen of the Empire. My parents were legionnaires, and I've followed in their footsteps. But more importantly, I am a daughter of Skyrim, and wish to see her made whole again. I've been a daughter of Skyrim all my life. I love this land, and her people. So do all the lords that serve the Empire. Ulfric, too, once. He wasn't always a self-serving egomaniac. He fought in the Imperial Army in the war against the Dominion. But Ulfric and his storm cloaks are deluding themselves. If there's any hope of a long-term victory against the Dominion, it's in the Empire. The rebels are only inflaming the tension and weakening the Empire by distracting it from its ultimate aim. I consider this conversation over. Okay. I can, can I hit a, so, uh, a sore spot, apparently. I mean, it's kind of an interesting one. I mean, it is one of those things where... Of the Glen Moral Witches. How can I assist you, companion? I don't need your assistance, thank you very much. Um, let me see here. Uh, I'm not interested in getting the gear, if I'm being honest. I'll uh, just head straight to the drag uh, jagged crown. This is going to be the last thing I do today, by the way. I, it's just, it's one of those things where uh, both sides make a certain amount of sense, but only from certain people who speak with, like, this to me is actually very reminiscent of the whole Brexit um, issue. It's like, on the one hand, the the EU's like the Empire, but at the same time, it's just trying to do the best. And then the Stormcloaks are like the bad guys, but unfortunately, not in. Uh, but it's like, oh, we want to take our land back and stuff, even though, technically speaking, obviously with Brexit, we technically still own Britain and stuff. We don't actually have. It's just. I'm kind of not using the right metaphors here and all that. Nope, we're not doing that. Fuck you, Mr. Bear. Um, it, it's just one of those things, I suppose, where I'm not. I can't really come up with a good metaphor right on the spot, but there are plenty out of there. And to be honest, it's not really a right or wrong answer for this either. It's just because here's the thing: like, um, I can't remember her name, but the woman we just bought, well, she's actually quite a sensible woman. Um, but unfortunately she's not the person in charge of everything. If she was running the place, it'd probably be a lot simpler. I think those are the guards I'm going in with. What's the situation? Good to see you, my friend. I knew you'd make a proper legionnaire. They don't know I'm where glad you'll be with me in there. I don't like the looks of this place. And I'm not talking about the storm clothes. These old ruins, they don't want us here. The ancient ones. Better left alone. But never mind all that. Who the hell am I talking the with here? Soldiers. We'll do our duty no matter what stands in our way, right? Well, that's something at least. Looks like the damned rebels got here first. No matter, we have the element of surprise. Prepare to move out. Follow me. Uh, I'm a Bozeman, so. Are here for the same reason we are. Ulfric, the pretender, wants that crown, but we're not going to let him have it. 
I realize some of you may know men on the other side, but remember this. They are the enemy now and will not hesitate to end your lives either. General Tullius is counting on us to bring back the Jagged Crown, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's show these rebels what real soldiers look like. And to be fair, we're actually going to be able to see the um the other side of the argument when we get to like the second playthrough, so. I'm just gonna go hide over here in a corner and start picking off these guys. It's a real massacre down there. Yeah, I mean, I'd hate to be involved in that. <laughs> oh, fuck off with that. God, he is good at avoiding. Somebody behind me? No, it's just him, okay. Ooh, look, I mean, nobody needs any of this stuff, right? I'm just gonna pillage real fast. I won't be two minutes, I promise. Oh, I can get in here, and I can actually raise that up to 59 probably with this. Alright, so just bear with me for a few minutes, uh, madam, while I uh, do my thing. Okay, I think we found the sweet spot, I think. Yeah, over here somewhere. Of course it's not quite there. There we go. Coins, coins. Uh, 209 lockpicks. Oh, but I'm not interested in the... No, I'm not interested in the staff of zombies. It was a fucking bloodbath here. Oh, fuck it. I picked up the wrong thing. So much to pick up. War. War never changes. Oh, these are bandits. Well done. They never knew what hit them. But don't underestimate the Stormcloaks. Many are Legion veterans. They may be traitors, but they know how to fight. We had the advantage of surprise this time, but don't expect it to last. Let's move out. Alright, so hopefully I can go off on my own here and uh, do it my way. 